when I started, I was a network security engineer. And, the, and the, what we discovered was that the firewalls weren't protecting anybody anymore because they were bringing up these new things called web apps. And they would punch a hole through their firewall and all traffic would come through, email, whatever, to these applications. So what we dis discovered at the time was that these web applications were insecure because they thought that these firewalls were providing these protections. And, um, you know, as I matured in my career, I realized that it wasn't just the web applications that it was insecure. It was all applications, right? And, it, and it, the industry, the buzzwords of the day was web applications. So we'd called OWASP the OWASP Web Application Security Project because that was kind of the initial tickle, right? But as, as my career progressed, you know, we found that software security was filled with a bunch of bad practices, right? And so our, our, our messages and the things that we produced had a much wider application than, than the original name. Right. So, so to continue on that sort of thought, um, um, my own experience, right, being in web applications here in New York City for an online bank that sort of doing transactional trading on Wall Street, there was no resource, there was no place to get information. And what the OWASP community pulled together with Dennis and others was great as a resource for people that were trying to figure it out, that were trying to run a business and try to figure it out. So as things continue to grow, the reason why OWASP is a software security organization, a professional association, if you will, is because no matter if you're involved in incident response and responding to computer security issues or helping with SDLC processes and controls or doing testing, whatever your part is within the software ecosystem, the foundation is that platform. The foundation is to bring those different pieces together to allow people to kind of use their strengths and their weaknesses to kind of grow together as a community. And that's really what we built, right? Over the years, it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger because people have gravitated to a, a core understanding that, you know, it's a safe place. It's a place to say, I don't know. I, I don't know how this works. Help me out. Um, and that's kind of where this organization continues to grow. So that's what I'm actually proud of about being a part of this organization. And in fact, we're doing a, me um, a mapping exercise today to look at where our projects lie, whether they're um, good governance and guidance for managers and people who need to educate developers or testers or, um, you know, uh, DevOps people and how to do security, whether we've got good education materials, for example, governance materials for CISOs and things like that. What do we have um, in, in our in our, I guess, community in terms of documents and, and projects and code or tools for developers, for the testers and for the people in, 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 in the, you know, operations side of security. And, and we're, we're, you know, OWASP works to try and make sure that we're covering all those bases so that we can help anybody. And I, that's part of that open in the name is that like, it's really is a safe place to come and ask questions. You know, we're not an exclusive club and we, we don't hold those secrets close to ourselves. We, we, we genuinely um, intend to help people protect their assets, right? Conversation of what happens in any community, right? Typically, the conversation about religion and politics. So in religion conversation, application security definitely has its following of zealots that are focused on one particular component of how it should be done in their opinion. And having folks continue, uh, combining and, and have that conversation allows people to see other sides. The politics component, we don't really, we're not really involved in politics as an organization, right? We have our own internal politics and governance things to deal with within our association. We don't really want to take a position uh, publicly on any sort of uh, you know, political component, no matter what organization or what country it may be coming from. We're really focused on the mission. We collaborate with folks around the world, and as Dennis said, this is the place that you know allows folks to kind of you know bring their best and, and kind of collaborate with others that are peers around the world.